the truth gets me. Follow the leader. What they have to do is get from the uh, hotel to the saloon down at the end of the street there without touching their feet on the street. Follow the leader. Mm -hmm. Grown men. I can't believe you ever rode with them. Could be. Broke my leg! Broke my leg! Broke your leg? Well, in that case, we'll just have to shoot you then. Up our Saturday night for them. Well, you know, Lucy, I mean, I haven't seen him in a long time. We just want to get together and talk over old times. $35. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bet you $35 that I can march into your little old store over there and all around and out again without setting it afar. Here, you hold the money. Okay? Hey, you got a match? 
Well, I think it's time. Hey, if you, you burn the place down. Well, if I do, you'll get the $35. Hey, 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 that's what I got. I got a new game. Collect $5 for everybody. Now, what are you going to get? What's for? Never mind. Just collect it. All right, All right there's $5. Hey, fire, take care of that. All right. Come on, you know what we're going to do? do? All right, what? Like what? This in the middle of the bull ring. Whoever gets it out wins the pot. Come on. Old ramrods first. Never mind that. New ramrods first. <laughs> Your idea. <laughs> Come on. Oh, ram Ramrod first. Then you go. Then everybody gets a turn. <laughs> yeah. Your blood. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hey, you watch oh, out. Man. up on me. I'd like to do something for you. No, I don't think you'd like to do anything for me. Wait a minute. Why wouldn't I? I'm what you might call an unwelcome stranger. Well, everybody's strange until they find a friend. That's how you lose friends sometimes, asking favors. Well, you're not asking a favor now. I'm offering it. Now, what can I do for you? Well, there's, uh... No. No, I don't think you would. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, how do you know I would? Try me. We're in the same area. Where are you going? Yeah, same area. One of the... Oh, yeah, I don't know. Gentlemen, shall we begin? Yeah, same area. One of the... Hello, cattlemen. Sorry. I'm glad you could make it. I gotta talk to you. Later. Fellow cattlemen, we all know why we're here. And, uh, Johnny, 
I hope you had one heck of a Saturday night. <laughs> I'm to talk to you. Shh. I could lionize Murdoch, whom we honor today. But you're all cattlemen. You know Murdoch Lancer as the man who's done more than any man to make our valley the greatest cattle kingdom west of the Rockies. As outgoing president of the California Cattle Growers Association, it is my honor to present your next president. Gentlemen, I give you a cattleman among cattlemen. I tried to tell you, Murdoch. Sure is some beautiful range we got here. Me and my sheep, thank you. Sure, Gabe. You're gonna help me in a little while, aren't you? Yeah, soon. Must be some sort of a joke. It's no joke, Murdoch. Murdoch, you know as well as I, there's never been sheep in this valley. I know that. We cattlemen have seen to that at least as long as I was president. <laughs> some president. Grunning sheep. Well, Mr. President, what are you going to do about it? I'll take care of it. I just hope word of this doesn't get out. Sheep on Lancer land. <laughs> that is one sheep man, the rest will follow in droves. I've seen it happen. I had my grass eat from under me in Wyoming. I had to move here. Well, they're not going to eat me out again. You hear, Mr. President? Now, wait a minute. Just wait a minute. This is my doing. This is a favor for a favor. What kind of favor could you owe a sheep man? He saved my life. Cattleman shouldn't let no sheep man save his life. This is only going to be for a little while. I mean, until they, until they lamb, until they have their babies. He's starting to talk like a sheep man already. I see what happens when sheep move into free grass country. Eat the grass and the roots. Sheep, followed by dust storms, erosion, good cattle country ruined. Well, not here, not to me, not again, not to me again. I'll see them all dead first. And that goes for any lancer that tries to stop me. I thought you just kind of leaned on your staff like Moses, thinking up commandments, you know? Idle hands are the devil's workshop. You pulling my leg. Strangest feeling that this has a permanent look about it. Could use some more chicken wire. You know, these uh, shelters you're building, uh, they're not built like one happy day for me. I mean, uh, you are uh, just planning on leaving, aren't you? Yous need shade and then rest after they give birth. 
Gave you person me, you know that? Sheep heard his bread. Bread? You smile a lot. But you sure don't mean it. Well, sometimes you learn to smile a lot. Yeah? You get pushed around and pushed further on. So, uh, get pushed further west by the chosen few. Including me, I suppose? Hey, you want some goat's milk from a sheep herder? <laughs> My horse has bucked me off. <laughs> He's the worst fanatic in the valley. Animals aren't the fanatics. Man, or man the animal. Why is it that when the cowman sits up there astride one of God's most beautiful creatures, he thinks he's God? He thinks he's above all the land. You know, if you sit up there on a horse, Forever, you're going to lose the use of your legs completely. You smile a lot, but you got a lot of hate underneath. Oh, no, I mean it. Your legs will just become a pair of bow-legged clamps. You've forgotten how to walk the land, cowboy. Make lousy coffee, she man. She, a ranch or a man? We're never gonna live this down. I'm not even gonna go to town for a whole year. It's gonna take that long or more to get the smell of those woolies out of this valley. Don't start with me, Jolly. Just don't start. Now I've already started, and I'm not through yet. Now you had no business making a promise like that to that fella just because he pulled you out of a bullpen. Hey, let me alone, will you? All I want is some chicken wire. Chicken wire? What do you think this is, a chicken farm? I'll get it in town. Well, I'd a sight rather see you bleeding on the outside than Murdoch bleeding on the inside. Besides, no respectable bull would kill a cattle man. You just toss him over the fence, land him on his head, and right. pound some sense into it. Kelly, I think we've chewed this long enough. But, boss, now he wants chicken wire. He's coming! Come on, He's get coming! Get the tree. Get them together. Come on! Come on! Come on, Chief. Sit down to the tree. Legs are sawed half a two. No <laughs> dynamite underneath the seat. <laughs> now, boys, we all know why we're staying over in town a few more days. Because you haven't blown your money yet. No, no. We're staying over to honor our ex Ramrod, one who used to raise cane with us, but has changed from a wild horseman into a gentle herdsman. <laughs> but to show you what your old buddies still think of you, we got a present for you. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, and nobody can deny. Go on, open it. <laughs> you open it, Chuck. <laughs> My blow up on you. You open it. <laughs> Mick, hold that down. We're yeah. gonna open it for him here. Ain't that pretty, Bob? Mm -hmm. Like that? Oh. Look at the air. <laughs> now listen, no need for your old hat anymore, so take the hat clean. Spud, you model it for him. Oh, clean. Now go on, go on. It sure stinks under here. <laughs> 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 
Boys, I propose a toast. Three cheers for the ramrod of the Rams. Johnny Lancer. Bah! 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 Can't take a joke anymore? Will you think of a joke, Clint? You let me know. Come on, let's drink. Elmer, give me a drink. Come on. Drinks are on me. Why? I want you to know this town welcomes anybody who knows enough to hate sheep and sheepmen. Fill them up, Elmer. Here you boys ran into that sheepman coming up the trail. Yeah, that's right. He was uh, driving his woolies up in front of us. Ate all the grass. Took us two days longer before we could find good grazing. Two days longer before we could hit town. Oh, that's bad. Tell you what I'm going to do. Every night you boys are in town, drinks are on me. Hear that, Elmer? Yes, sir, Mr. Porter. Glad to see there's still some cattlemen around. That'll cost you plenty. Let's just say it's an investment. Lucy. Hmm? I hate to keep breaking dates with you, but I can't take a ride on Sunday. I'm sorry, I uh, look forward to our rides. Well, something came up. Any girl I know? No, no, no. It's... I got work to do. You're pretty good at getting out of work during the week. Uh, can't it Sunday? Well, I promised this guy that uh, I would help him move his herd. What was that for? Because you're you. Yeah? Yes, yeah, sit down. What do you mean? I know all about the sheep. The whole town does. <sighs> yeah, I know. You want me to leave? Well, I'm a cattleman's daughter. All my life, sheep has been a bad word. Yes, I know. I'll go quiet. Uh -uh. I think it's great, just great. You're standing up against the whole town. You're the only one, you know. I am a little upset, though. Oh, and about what? <laughs> about Sunday? Because mm -mm. you haven't asked me to ride out there with you and be a shepherdess. building those things. Why doesn't he fight back? The man of peace. Look, we got nothing against you. It's him we's after. Go on, get out of here. Tell 
me? I'll tell you. Turn the other cheek, is that it? Well, you don't survive doing that out here. You just get belted on both cheeks. Fighting's a children's game, and I can't play that game. You want to start rebuilding while I wash up? I'll never understand him. Boy, I can't wait till he gets this sheep out of here. He passed out. Good. Maybe he'll listen when he comes to. Stands such a short time as that lamp. Departing, will we leave behind footsteps in the sands of time? Too. It's a woman's touch. down anywhere. Ever want to? I never think about it. Why not? I'm a sheep man. Well, Johnny said that a man's always a stranger until he meets a friend. So, here's to friends.
You're back, my dog. Yeah. I'm waiting for you. The seventh day shall be the day of rest. What happened to the thumb? Sheep set on it. <laughs> Johnny, um, I just wanted you to know that keeping your word like you have, uh, eating crow and... Mutton. Yeah, yeah, eating mutton like you have, well, uh, I think you're doing the right thing. Of course, as president of the Cattle Growers Association, I can't officially condone what you've been doing, but as a father, I'm proud of you. I don't think you would have said that if you would have got a whiff of me for my bath. Sheep sit on you there, too? Oh, no. I got in a fight with a couple of guys out there. They were beating up on Gabe. I think they were Porter's men. Porter killed one silver sheep. Johnson County Massacre. Are you saying if he did it once, he'll do it again? Now you saw the fire in his eyes, the hate. You seen the fire in my eyes lately? Yeah, I know what you've been going through out there. It's even cut into your Sundays. How's Lucy taking? She's still out there. She is? She got all carried away with the lambs being born, you know. Yep. I know about women. I don't. befriended you and how I'm his girl. What are you, some kind of mind reader or something? Some minds I can read, like yours. Hey, how long have we known each other? A week? Ten days. I've, I've known Johnny for years, and I can't read his mind. He keeps flying off in all directions. I love Johnny, but well, wouldn't it be a shame if, if we couldn't find room in our hearts for more than one person? It may not be very womanly, Gabe, but I'm being honest with you. Before you go, will, will you please be honest with me? Sun up yet. With reason? Last day. I came to help you move your sheep. They can't be moved. What do you mean, can't? The ewes haven't lambed yet. The wolves know it's their time. If we move them, the wolves will pick off the young and the strays. Look, Gabe. You swore you'd be out of here in two weeks. Now I kept my end of the bargain. Now you keep yours. I lied. It's not in my power to name a time for the use. I'll tell you one thing, I'm not gonna send him out there to fool. What is this? 
Is that where you stand? Because of, because of Lucy? Because of my girl? She may be your girl, but she's not your woman. What's that supposed to mean? Have you asked her to marry you? No, I haven't asked her to marry me. Well, I have. Gabe. I think I do. Where will you live? With each other. You see you. Johnny. Johnny, you can understand that. I know you can. Hey, hey, I got a good one. Remember Wichita? Johnny strung the line to the school steeple? <clears throat> All you gotta do is make it to the top without spilling your beer. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's great, except we ain't got no school steeple. Oh, thought it might be Johnny. Look, do me a favor, forget about Johnny. That's right, forget him. Because he won't be coming. It's coming on Saturday night, isn't it? He'll show up in town. Would you show up? If a sheep man stole your girl? Who? Lucy? Well, I hope Johnny learns something. Yeah, well, Johnny ain't learned nothing. You're letting the sheep man stay on. One herd of sheep stays, the rest will come like locusts. What happened to you trail drivers then, I wonder? What do you mean? Sheep and cattle don't mix. They're more in grease and water. You think it's hard to make a buck now? You wait till the sheep come. It'll be the end of the trail driving days. You know, if I was you fellas, I'd drive them off, scatter them, fast. Say, now, there'd be a real game for a Saturday night. Huh? Johnny. If I know Johnny Lancer, he'd be the first one to thank you. Give his word to that sheep man, he don't want to go back on it. You know, if you fellas done that job come nightfall, you could have Johnny back in town with you for the shank of the evening. these running around here. Sure glad I don't have to name them all. <laughs> Lucy! 
Help out. We'll do anything we can. Who would have done such a thing? The boys have been celebrating every night. Somebody had to lead them to this, to fire them up. This land of yours is built on death and violence. And now you'll see violence. Gabe. this world. That's what Lucy died for, our life, Gabe. Go back where you need it. That's what she'd want you to do. You kill or be killed or 
go back where you need it. Elmer, take Porter on over to the sheriff. Johnny, we... we didn't know. We... we just didn't think. You didn't think! You never think! You never think! Now, here's what you're gonna do. Every one of you gonna ride out there, and you're gonna help us. And you... you cattlemen, you horsemen, who think you're some sort of god sitting up there gonna get down on foot? And you're gonna help us herd back the sheep and you're gonna carry back the lambs and if you don't, you got me to fight. You know, it's a funny thing, but from way up here, you could hardly tell the difference between a sheep and a cow. Once upon a time, there was an inn with no room in it, and the sheep welcomed this family and child. Now, it just seems like there ain't no room in this world for the sheep. Well, there's room here, Gabe. That is, if you want to stay. 